Friends, you know milk is very important for our health. But do you get this milk direct from animals or through the milkman? Do you pay for the water or the pure milk to the milkman? If we want to check the purity of that milk, then we use lactometer. So today we are going to know how to use the lactometer and what is the physics behind that lactometer. This is our lactometer and when we use it, we simply dip it inside the milk or water and we just check the level of the milk or water. So it is simply a solid body. We particularly choose such kind of body because when we dip it inside, it maintains the balance, vertical equilibrium of the body. Take a measuring cylinder and first we will check, uh, we will dip this lactometer inside this water. I am powering water inside it. I am just, I will just dip this lactometer inside this water. Now we will check what is the level of this lactometer. You can see there is a black mark on this. The level of the water is the top black mark. You can see. If I remove it, you can see this was the level up to which this was the mark up to which this was dipped inside this water. This was the level. And now this is the pure water. And you know the density of water is 1 gram per cc. Now let's take the weight of this lactometer first. I have taken the mark. Now we will take the weight of this. So I am using this scale. This is digital scale. You can see the zero in this uh, digital balance. Now let's first take the weight of this lactometer. It is almost 15 gram, 15.0 gram. You can see the reading 15.0. Now some amount of water is taken in the measuring cylinder and water level is noted it is 75 cc. Now lactometer is immersed in it and water level rises to 90 cc. Some milk in this measuring cylinder you can see the reading is 84 cc. Now I am putting this lactometer inside it the level of the milk will rise this is pure milk and the level is 98 Point 0.5 you can see the reading 98.5 so we can note down all these readings let's understand the physics behind the use of this lactometer lactometer is just a solid body you can see the solid body when it is immersed in a liquid what happens the weight of the solid body is balanced by the upthrust of the liquid if the density of the liquid is greater than the density of the body it will float so when we dip this lactometer Suppose this is lactometer, when we dip it inside the pure milk, when we dip it inside the pure milk, then we, we can assume this is x meter dipped inside it. So the weight of this body is fixed. The weight actual mass of the lactometer was 15 gram. We have already noted this is the, this will not change during the experiment. The weight of the lactometer will not change. So this weight is balanced by the upthrust created due to the milk when it is immersed in the milk. So the weight of this lactometer is was mg. So this should be balanced by the upthrust and that is the volume displaced by the lactometer and suppose the density of the milk is sigma. So and volume this volume is we can find suppose this is the area A. So volume will be A into X. So sigma A X into G. This is the upthrust created due to the milk. So G is cancelled out. So M is equal to sigma A into X. If the same lactometer is immersed inside water instead of milk, if it is water and density of water is suppose rho, then this M will be equal to rho A X dash. 
So this is the depth up to which the water will dip, this electrometer will dip inside the water. So here sigma x is equal to rho x dash. So in our electrometer, we have taken these two marks. Lower one is for uh, electrometer inside milk and upper one is electrometer inside pure water. So th this difference I have noted. Now if this sigma increases, this x decreases. Now practically we can find the density of water in pure milk. You can see actual mass of the electrometer is 15 gram. That will remain constant. Now the volume displaced in water that is 90 minus 75, 15 cc. So density of pure water will be, you know density is equal to mass by volume. Mass was over 15 gram and the volume displaced in water, it is also 15 gram, 15 cc, sorry, this is 15 cc. So density is 1 gram per cc. This is for pure water. Approximately uh, 1 gram per cc, the density for pure water. For milk, the volume displaced by the lactometer for milk that was 14.5 cc the weight is again 15 so density of the milk sigma that will be equal to 15 divided by 14.5 if i will divide it i can use the calculator if i divide this 15 divide by 14.5 it is coming to be 1.0344 approximately i can write 1.035 gram per cc for pure milk our density is 1.035 gram per cc so these standard readings i will take this time i will add 50 percent water inside the pure milk i have taken 50 cc of milk pure milk in this measuring cylinder and i am putting water inside it same quantity of water 50 cc so that the total amount is 100 cc Now this is the adulterated milk, 50% water and 50% milk. Now I will put this lactometer inside it. You can see the level of this adulterated milk is in between the upper mark and lower mark. You can see, so in between that. I have taken two marks on this. For pure milk, the mark is this lower one. And for pure water only, this is the upper mark. And this difference we have noted on this lactometer. This difference between the two marks, this one, this I have measured using the scale. The difference between this is 2 cm. When I added 50% water, then the mark was in between, approximately this. This was for 50%. Now, while concluding the topic, I am uh, just uh, uh, briefing the main points. I first dip the lactometer inside pure milk. The level was this lower one. This was the level for pure milk. And density suppose pure milk was rho naught. Density for pure milk that was calculated 1.035. I had calculated it 1.035 for pure milk. When I dipped the same lactometer inside water, the level was upper one, top one and that was pure, pure water only. No milk here. And suppose the difference in these two levels is H that I had marked on this. Difference of these two levels is H. This is 2 cm. So we have noted. Now suppose I dip the same lactometer in adulterated water. For adulterated water, we can calculate the density rho 1. Density rho 1 we can calculate. I have shared the formula like y percent is mixed, y percent water, then 100 minus y is milk. So we can find the rho 1 that is 1.035 into 100 minus y plus 1 is density for water into y divided by 100. We can calculate this density for any percentage of water inside it. And then what is the height of this mark when lactometer is inserted inside adulterated milk, this level x can be calculated using this formula. I have calculated it for your convenience. You can try your own. And this formula, H is the difference between the two top levels, the bottom and top. This is for pure milk and this one is for pure water. This H is the difference. It was nearly 2 cm in our case. And rho 2 is the density for pure water. Its value is 1. This is rho 2 density for pure water that is 1. And rho naught, this was density of pure milk, 1.035. 
and putting the value of y suppose y is 50 percent 50 percent water we can calculate this x this x will nearly come out 0 0.98 centimeter in between that is and this is 2 centimeter 0 0.98 we can mark that 50 percent in this way i can calibrate my scale this is 50 percent adulteration this one 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent and 100 percent like this we can calibrate we can design our own lactometer this i have done at 20 degrees celsius the temperature of the milk was 20 degrees celsius you can do it for uh, hot milk or any other milk i have done it for buffalo milk you can do it for cow milk goat milk or any kind of milk you can design your own lactometer thank you very much